it felt really fulfilling. I felt really accomplished knowing that uh, I became the first girl, you know, to feature on state television. You know, doing reports, anchoring news. I felt like the rural community as a whole, you know, has achieved something, especially the girl child. I've noticed, you know, that when you prove yourself to people, their perception changes. I might meet you and you might have a perception of me, but if I prove you wrong, definitely your perception about me is going to change. So that perception, that aspect has changed a lot. It has, and I'm glad it has. I just think that the Barura people have to prove themselves, you know, they have to prove themselves. They have to, oh, there's, there's been a lot of advancement, you know, it's not like before where they didn't, they, they wouldn't go to school. Now they do, they go to school, even the girls, you have girls who are doctors, you know, they go as far as PhD, graduate university, they are independent, you have Barura women who work in big organizations. Me being here has really influenced the Mbororo girls so much. Why? Because they see me on TV, you know, some call me, I'm like, oh my, I want to be like you, please, I want you to be my mentor, I don't want to end up in the kitchen, you know, I just think that me being on TV has really, really changed their perception because most of them think that they don't have these opportunities. But you cannot have the opportunity if you don't go to school. I remember when I got here, you know, the first report I did, my colleagues, they were listening. They want to hear my accent, you know, like we have an accent, the way we, we, we talk English and all. And they were surprised. Not everybody goes on air. You know, you have to prove yourself and show that you can. And I did. And after one year of, of, of working, when I got employed, after one year, I, I presented the news, which is very rare here in CRTV. Not because I'm a minority. It's true, you know, they wanted to put me, you know, to represent the people. But even if I'm in Bororo and I'm poor, they will not put you on television to start talking jazz, you know, to people. So I, I, I am really glad that my hierarchy does accept my job and that I've overcome those challenges. You still find Bororos who think that the girl child or the, even the male, even the male should not be emancipated. He should run behind the cows. He should inherit his father. They want to protect the culture. I think that is the main challenge. I think that is still, that is the, still the perception they have. <laughs> 